Good morning, New Covenant family. I was praying one morning and I was uh, listening to the worship song, Let It Rain, one of my favorite worship songs. And I began to pray that the Holy Spirit would pour himself out or be poured out in our lives and in our congregation at the time of the church I was pastoring. And I wasn't expecting an answer really. And he spoke back to me and said, the hydrologic cycle begins in the earth, not in the sky. And he got my attention. And because I'm a teacher, he kind of talks to me and drops little things in my heart. And so I began to pursue that statement. And it flashed me back to my days in school, science, studying science. And I realized most liquid is on the surface of the earth. So that's where the cycle begins, of course, with evaporation. So let me just briefly remind you of a few key words that are involved. And you learned all of this in science, and so did I. But I want to tie it into our worship. Evaporation is the process by which water is converted from its liquid state to its gaseous state, or water vapor. In other words, water leaves the Earth's surface and it enters into the atmosphere as gas. Now, evaporation is also a purifying process. So whenever water comes up off of the Earth into the atmosphere, anything that's in the water, uh, whether it's dissolved or undissolved, remains behind. That includes salt, rocks, minerals, other materials that might end up in the surf surface water. As it evaporates, it's purified. So uh, condensation is the process by which water vapor is changed back into liquid. Condensation is very important to our weather, our climate, because it's what's responsible for cloud formation, of course. Now, fog is condensation near the ground, and I want you to remember that. Fog forms when moist, warmer air comes in contact with cooler air near the surface. So hold on to that thought for just a second. Fog is condensation that has not gone up and evaporated. Precipitation is the next phase of the water cycle and it's the water, of course, that falls from the atmosphere in the form of rain and sleet, snow, hail, freezing rain, all of that stuff. And clouds are required for precipitation because the raindrops are the drops of the clouds that have condensed enough for the water to actually fall. So let me just apply a few principles to what we just learned real quick, okay? As a new creation, we're both spiritual and physical beings, which means we are members of the earth and of heaven at the same time. The book of Colossians confirms that when it says, in fact, that we have members on the earth and we're seated in heavenly places with Christ. And there is a cycle that exists in our life that we have to learn to harness the energy and the power of. And what I'm talking about is certain principles that have been at work uh, since Genesis. And then, so, so let's just take the principle of evaporation. Evaporation is me offering up praise and worship, as well as my perceptions, allowing myself to be caught up into the spirit and my spirit communing with his spirit. Now, when I say up, <clears throat> being caught up, I want you to think positionally with me, not just geographically, because in the kingdom, up is a dimension, not just a direction, Okay. So back in school, they taught us that evaporation is purification. Anything that was in the water was left behind through the process of the water being caught up. And it's that way in our lives. So what I'm telling you is we need to get caught up more often. We need to let our opinions and our perceptions and our understandings all be exposed to his through the catching up process, being caught up, being evaporated. I'm offering up my opinions, my perceptions, everything to him. Now, remember I said, hold on to that thought about fog because moisture that doesn't get caught up accumulates near the ground and in life that tends to fog my vision. So my perspectives, my perceptions, my opinions, my thoughts that I refuse to let get caught up into the heavenly so they can be purified and come back down as condensation, those things tend to form as fog and they keep me in a fog in life, if you know what I'm saying. Now, precipitation is the completion of a cycle. It's whatever was offered up now comes back down purified by that process. So here's a thought to consider, okay? If condensation is tied directly to evaporation, then maybe you're not waiting on heaven as much as you think you are. And probably I'm not either. Start emptying, start releasing what you have and empty yourself out through worship and through renewing your mind. And you'll begin to create the very season that you're craving in your life. Did you catch that? Renewing your mind is, is a key part of worship. And when you renew your mind and, and allow your thoughts to become his thoughts, 
you begin to create the season that you crave in your life.